वेटर्न विंग कमांडर एन जे रेड्डी साहब विच इज योगा प्राणा विद्या एंड इंटीग्रेटेड होलिस्टिक सिस्टम फॉर हीलिंग एंड मेडिटेशन आत्मा नमस्ते टू ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट्स ऑल द डिग्नेटरीज प्रोफेसर ए के जैन प्रोफेसर अशोक कुमार एंड द ऑर्गनाइजेशन विच इज बींग होस्टेड बाय वीरभद्र सिंह एंड अदर इंटरनेशनल कम्युनिटी वी वेलकम यू फॉर दिस प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ योग प्राण विद्या इंटीग्रेटेड होलिस्टिक कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री एंड ऑल्टरनेटिव सिस्टम टू स्टार्ट विथ good health is a very important factor and uh, good health cannot be maintained without happiness so if uh, health issue immunity boosting can be handled by several means we must adopt all the means we primarily work on uh, pranamaya kosha or the energy body ancient system we have pancha koshas one of the important koshas connect the physical body is a pranamaya kosha by handling pranamaya kosha in various uh, possible means techniques we must bring in change we always say you must do this you must not do this and you must be peaceful but what is the method by which we can gain peace and sustain peace so we need some techniques we need to understand this so i have a presentation an integrated holistic system for healing and meditation so the we again thank uh, devi welfare society society stem institute and also international educators group and uh, the being uh, supported and we are involved with we got request from veerabhadra singh and our senior uh, uh, trainer and also certified healer uh, sunita singh who has fis- felicitated all this uh, activities and uh, we thank you for this opportunity we primarily now focus on pranamaya kosha the etheric double bioplasmic body science calls it bioplasmic body so we are not one kosha annamaya kosha but also pranamaya kosha but also pancha kosha also higher so more focus for the health is on pranamaya kosha which gets affected by the other koshas we will so integrated approach must look into all this aspect holistic also look into uh, as a body uh, mind soul and spirit uh, and a supreme that's integration uh. so energy and physical body is connected to one plane that is physical plane of our existence the physical world the physical body we are in a physical body in the physical world the physical world includes energy also the seven sub planes of a physical world is solid liquid gases and four planes is energy of different grades so we have energy body and the physical body as you purify this energy becomes subtler get into higher grade higher vibration the for restoring of health we must get into higher vibration which automatically drops lower vibration since we have this energy body and physical body in the physical world so there has to be uh, if you have emotions we have emotional body and there is emotional world physical world then we have emotional body emotional world the concept is simple pancha koshas comes into picture here mental body and similarly you have intuitional plane the fifth kosha the physical body is annamaya and pranamaya if you go to the fourth intuitional plane it is fifth intuitional body so there are higher bodies part of your soul and spirit or parmatma and higher but let us focus on this how to bring uh, integration to be able to bring in peace happiness and immune boosting and harmony the heart chakra anahata chakra affects the emotional body like the lower energy centers affect the physical body anahata chakra when activated uh, makes you get into higher emotion similarly you have i don't talk about few chakras here the ajna chakra affects your higher mental part of the body so when you develop the energy system the pranamaya kosha these chakras are developed you automatically connected to the higher kosha also that's the point then very importantly then intuitional fifth kosha the importance of the fifth kosha i'll tell this is the crown you connect intuitional or buddhic plane the plane of direct perception plane of intuition that is not possible unless you develop your heart energy center you are going up all so these two centers are very important in terms of the peace and connecting to your divine nature ajna of course uh, connecting to mental is important for able to align with the purpose and understand the purpose so these are the things the important point is the crown chakra sahasrara 
is part of the pranam kosha but it connects you to intuitional plane when it becomes activated padme activated when it opened up so the heart chakra brings you peace when it's opened up when it become padme so yoga is what so yoga is union between two there is one lower and one is higher are recognized higher in other one so we are all children of god connect with god one with god one with all going from bottom you are the jivatma extended into the bodies the koshas mental body and below and the jivatma is part of the higher atma part of the intuitional plane and higher and this atma is part of the paramatma we call it father divine spark monad in different traditions and this paramatma is actually part of the parabrahma one god whatever you call it we are all part of one god we are all one the separation is cause of misery oneness is cause of bliss very simple so how to get there what are the methods so your constitution the human is not just a physical we are a spirit through the soul extend to the bodies you are the soul with bodies when body did not there was not there you were there body is not will not be there in future will be there our time in the body is transient therefore this time in the body is precious and you the soul is eternal undying the body is transient but for a purpose so these are the important aspects the seven planes are shown there further higher level of course this is let us focus on to up to intuitional plane this is the planes of the paramatma the divine spark the planes of the higher soul or atma planes of this personality the personality integrated with the higher aspect becomes jivatma so you are the jivatma extended into the bodies so if you understand this and if you tune to your higher nature you will raise up you will not be affected by the lower and how to raise up different ways of achieving yoga or union each one is a yoga hatha yoga bhakti yoga raj yoga kundalini yoga dhyana yoga gnana yoga karma yoga for the present times the fastest acceleration is possible by gnana yoga because our mental development is there once you understand it then you can practice combination of the yoga sir so we have the arhat yoga is the integration of all this world health organization definition is state of complete physical mental and social well being health is not just only merely absence of disease or infirmity health definition is this so it cannot be just achieved by one method now one method diet is very important of course and medicine in emergency is required but medicine has to be a second method main method is to maintain yourself because we have to understand the social well being mental well being is not just part of your physical health and all this mental and social well being affects your physical health the psychosomatic element when you call it psycho means thinking and feeling soma means body the element in the thinking and feeling affecting the body is psychosomatic and once the body is affected your thinking and feeling is affected both ways it is true so only handling the physical body is not sufficient but physical body handling is important the case studies yoga pranavidya has done in handling physical bodies and emotional bodies and ailments psychological ailments psychosomatic ailment chronic ailments we have case studies documented 3400 which is including 1600 plus recent last 2 3 years covid cases and psychological cases and what about research out of these cases we have lot of research we have 43 published in reputed scientific journals so you just google ypb research you will get it and process is on we have present one year program pipeline uh, research one of the main research is coming of one year program we have a one year program going on the ashram from where this being presented where the present one year participants of ninth batch are sitting in uh, uh, this program we have empirical case studies very, very important connect with various situations we have 39 case reports on various improved difficult cases including covid papers and others our what is the present capacity we have been working for so many years 27 years selected highly trained 225 plus healers who have been trained for one year intensive in the ashram they were already healers meditators they were further trained presently the ninth batch and last batch is going on and we have other than that 1500 dedicated healers across the country and about 200 trainers also there to train 
If you want to get trained, many, any place we can get it trained. We have online sessions also. Comprehensive Yoga Pranayama course has been already conducted in two sessions in Murarji Deshai National Institute of Yoga. We have created a syllabus and we have conducted two programs and this program can be taken up in any other institution having been taken up by Murad Desha National Institute of Yoga by our organization. One of the team which visited our ashram and seen many case studies, many healings and they have said that based on the American Heart Association regarding mortality, regarding COVID and based on the certain input at that point of time, who won data, uh, the mortality rate increases with hypertension 6%, diabetes 6.3 and heart 7.3%. So first you address this, uh, you be able to tackle COVID was their opinion. So lesson to learn, prevent high blood pressure first. Then you have a chance to prevent diabetes, heart disease and death from COVID and many other diseases because that is the basically cardiac institute. And uh, uh, BIPB, as for them, is by far the one and only organization that has addressed disease prevention by stress reduction, meditation and breathing exercises, exercises, aerobic, anaerobic, proper diet, plant-based and no-salt diet. We take no-salt diet because required sodium is available, natural food. Without all this, prevention is not successful, which is the problem with all other organizations, what they said very clearly. They have suggested at the current pandemic going on, so learn YPV, practice YPV, teach YPV, YPV Yoga Pranavidya, promote it. So, YPB healing is what the basis of this healing. You have a pranamaya kosha, all the other conditions of your thinking and feeling via pranamaya kosha affect the physical body, annamaya kosha. So, you handle pranamaya kosha in multiple ways. To handle pranamaya kosha, it is inside and outside the physical body. You don't have to touch. Energy follows thought, you can handle distantly also. The GDB image before and after healing of a certain patient shows how integrated energy has become and improvement has taken place in this case. Basis of healing is three fundamental basis and each is important for human being. Body heals itself, this is true in nature for anybody and everyone or all kingdoms, animal kingdom particularly. You give the rest to body, body has the ability to heal itself, it has consciousness, you can call it immune system, you can call it uh, sympathetic nervous system, uh, involuntary system, whatever you call it. And uh, voluntary system also is there. Energy follows thought, the very, very most important thing applicable to human being, what you think uh, is energy goes there. Many of you are attending this presentation because you thought of attending it and you got up and sat and you clicked your thing and joined. Uh, Energy follows thought. Now the most important point is increasing the energy, access the healing process which is already there. Body heals itself but it needs some energy. You know, you need energy to be provided by various methods. And what all these methods by which it can be provided is integrated yoga pranaya system. Everything is important, physical level, emotional level, mental level. Sources of prana. So this is a very big issue uh, presently going on in all over the world regarding pollution. Sources of prana is air prana, you know air is polluted. Sources of prana is ground prana, ground is polluted. The third prana, sun prana is available more or less. But early morning and evening sun prana devoid of uh, uh, ultraviolet radiation is not available everywhere because of the high rise structures uh, and uh, because of the pollution again. Uh, sun prana is available in the morning and evening, they are very lucky. And apart from this, all these sources of prana are available secondarily through tree because it is rooted into earth, exposed to sun and air and water, flowing water especially, clean water of course. They have the prana. Then you have a divine energy which of course is there. The basis of healing is channeling of energy. Very simple example, we have a balloon, you have to putting balloon in the air, air will not get filled. You have to apply pressure and fill the air. Some people who are weak and sick, they are not able to draw the prana. A healthy person can draw energy and give energy. It's a giving and receiving channeling energy. The healer does not lose energy in this technique. Many of our blessing saints and many of the statues of divine beings, you find this posture. Receive and give. This is not the only one way, but one of them. Divine energy, very important point I am coming to when crown is activated by whatever methods and techniques properly and purified little bit, connected, the divine energy can flood in and you can restore health. This is absence of the energy. So, you see Gustav 
Stamberger, already part of the previous century, has said a time will come. Very important point in terms of energy and divine energy and all our ancient science comes here. A time will come when science will make tremendous advances, not because a better instruments they are available, we have better instruments for discovering and measuring things, not because of this. Tremendous advances. So the, this is part of Yoga Pranayama will be part of science. The ancient teachings will be part of science. But because few people will have at their command a great spiritual powers which are at present are seldom used. So we can generate the leaders having spiritual powers. And the group has spiritual power if individuals don't have. Within few centuries, the art of spiritual healing will be increasingly developed and universally used. This is what is uh, prophesied in the previous century and the time has come. Our group divine healing session which is available at 10 a.m. is this only. You can register for that. Coming to our uh, uh, Yoga Pranatha Healer page in Facebook, you can do it. You can, you can use it, part of it is a group, a big group of healers sit at the time and heal. The spiritual healing will be increasingly developed and universally used and we are already using it. You can be part of it. The simple concept is, like we are physical body is part of earth, we draw the nutrients from the earth, our energy body is part of earth energy body. Look at this way. So, the contamination and the problems and the violence and nature calamities on earth energy earth is because of the energy body, the earth is contaminated. When our body is contaminated, also we affect the same in terms of disease. When you purify your energy body and strengthen the body and make it bigger, that portion of the energy body of the earth is healed. So, by making more and more people develop their energy bodies, pranamaya koshas, the particular contamination which is affecting natural man-made calamities can be minimized. And a very big group coming together and doing it, it will be minimized all over. In a live session like this, people connect all over and bring in change in their energy body and their environment. Therefore, healing at the distance is possible, we are all connected and energy follows thought, two fundamental things. This energy follows thought is not applicable primarily, uh, not applicable to animal kingdom, it is applicable to developed human kingdom. Energy body and chakras, very importantly you have to understand if you want to have water in the field, you need water pumps and channels or pipelines. Same way if you want to have energy around you, which you, you accept that the bioplasmic body is there, there has to be a system of movement of bioplasmic body. If the blood is flowing, you have a heart and pumping system. Your breathing is taking place, your lungs and circulatory system, respiratory system and circulatory system both are connected. If you want to have pranamaya kosha, you need energy centers, energy pumps and these energy pumps are chakrams, that is all very simple. In healing system, we have 11 major chakras, we just talked about only uh, crown, ajna and uh, uh, heart chakra, but we have muladhara connected with the basic uh, and other functions, other chakras are there. You can go into detail. Uh, and there are minor chakras also. The importantly, the crown chakra when activated connects to fifth kosha, you connect to your higher self. So then the spiritual healing is possible. And you can channel energy to people around or as a group to the planetary peace meditation or to the entire planet. In the ancient teachings we say, mantras, we say, loka samastha sukuna bhavantu. Energy follows thought. To certain extent, we contribute to the whole universe and whole solar system, entire planet, when our thought form is very good, very clear. Then, when we activate our heart chakram, we are in a higher emotional state. Now, how it is holistic, how yoga pranayama is holistic is, we cannot separate um, organs in treating in general, first point. We can also do it when the organs are affected. But the, look at it, when heart chakra is activated, you become calm because it is emotional center. Not only calm, the heart center is co-located co -located with lungs and physical heart. So your heart functioning and lung kept functioning improves by just activating the heart. So how to activate the heart is a very important thing. At third point, very important, you have thymus gland there. The immune system gets activated when heart is activated. Very simply, you know, you smile, your heart is activated, you give, your heart is activated, you share, you tithe, you nurture, you address the need of someone, your heart is activated. And very, very, very importantly, very important thing is to do forgiveness. If you forgive, heart is activated. Forgiving is giving. It is, it is in giving, you receive. In forgiving, you are forgiven. 
by activating heart holistic uh, not only your physical body is improved uh, your emotional body also improved heart improves lungs improve thymus gland improve immunity improve everything improves multiple effects now coming to the current uh, researches on, on gene you know, it is the environment and more specifically our perception of the environment that controls the gene activity bruce lipton quoted by dr abdul kalam in his uh, book transcendence transcendence is going into your intuitional pain environment and attitude environment we contribute to environment negatively or positively every moment you contribute both how much you contribute to in a day you have to look into how much you are sad so being sad you generate negative entitlement you contribute negative to the entire environment being enthusiastic and positive you generate you contribute positive to the environment and the environment we live in affects other people in the environment so being sad is actually absolutely selfishness you have so much time to be sad because where is the time to be sad in best environment one can be pessimistic in worst environment one can be optimistic this is attitude so attitude affects your gene environment affects your gene especially children environment affects because their attitude is under development but attitude can be modified if you reprogrammed if you come into alpha state of brain wave now faraday law of induction we all see that how one person cannot help other person or affect other person a coil a transformer you send in energy one coil other coil gets energy and there is no physical connection if this is possible why not healing be possible even if somebody is beside you you don't know the person your positive condition slowly affects other condition if you are if you are strong otherwise other person negative condition will affect you if you are strong and positive you will have influence if your tank is bigger other part tank is smaller you have influence if you are higher other tank is lower you have more influence so maintain it for the benefit of society and the people around you and that it affect you positively you maintain yourself it affects all others positively నోబుల్ అసోసియేషన్ సంగం శరణం గచ్చామి స్ట్రెస్ క్యాన్ బి సీన్ ఇన్ ఈజీ వేవ్ బీటా స్టేట్ ఆల్ఫా స్టేట్ ఆల్ఫా స్టేట్ ఈజ్ అ పీస్ఫుల్ స్టేట్ ఇన్ దిస్ యూ కెన్ రిప్రోగ్రామ్ యువర్ యాటిట్యూడ్స్ అండ్ హౌ కమ్ టు ఆల్ఫా స్టేట్ దిస్ హార్ట్ రేట్ వేరియబిలిటీ ఇస్ అనదర్ పారామీటర్ విచ్ హెస్ కమ్ రీసెంట్లీ అండ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ డిసార్డర్డ్ ఇన్ ఫస్ట్రేషన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ బికమ్ ఆర్డర్డ్ ఇన్ అప్రిసియేషన్ వెరీ సింపుల్ సో ఆల్ అవర్ వై వైపీవి టెక్నిక్స్ starting from exercise to breathing to forgiveness to meditation to healing and diet will focus on getting into alpha state and our research shows it happens so changing attitude to the environment possible by coming to the alpha state so we say that you know you must not do this how do you do it you bring it to alpha state how do you come to alpha state there is certain simple exercise or some breathing exercise we come into it certain forgiveness by going to alpha state things can be programmed very simple exercise can bring you to alpha state which is our ancient science it requires training regular practice simple exercise like super brain asana our brain connection is there in the ears as per acupressure acupressure points if you hold your right ear left brain gets activated thumb and this if you hold your left ear right activates if both hold both ears in this fashion yeah you can get into our vip sadhana you get the information on this both both sides of the brain activated left brain is logical right brain is intuitive the moment you remove the hands from the ears the deactivation take place how to maintain activation you do sit ups for 14 times that's all activation is maintained for one day do it 14 times and daily make it to children children can become genius and old people they can avoid senility observations increase alpha wave activity by doing super benasana very simple it takes 2 and 1/2 minutes to do it you can see the balance of the rest, right brain and left brain the documentation of these things are available you can see in the internet also now most important thing is breath please understand control your breath control your mind everybody is saying this and how to do it we tell you that's all upadesh saram verse 11 ancient teaching you can say that coming from uh, ramana maharshi's verse 11 regulating breathing regulates the mind like a bird is restricted in the nest in the net similar is 
use of breathing exercise regulates your mind so simply do regulated breathing called rhythmic breathing vayu rodanat liyate mana jala pakshivat roda sadhanam so even before round of mercy talked about, talked about it yogi ramacharya in 1904 you can refer to the hatha yoga book eminent authorities have stated that the generation of one generation of correct breathers would generate the race and disease would be so rare as to be looked up upon curiosity so look into this please let us regulate breathing very simple an intelligent control of your breathing power will lengthen our days upon earth by giving us increased vitality and power of resistance so if you are not able to do exercise at least you do breathing somebody is sick lying down they can do breathing the breathing required is abdominal breathing inhale belly out exhale belly in connect to the upper palate energy circuit is completed you can refer to yoga pranavya uh, uh, techniques in vipv sadhana app we will come to quickly to that vipv techniques breathing exercise it improves your lung utilization from 10 to 10% 15% to 60% everything will change in few cycles of breathing we have complete breath which is there in the sadhana app it increases your unused capacity of lungs and last capacity is removed gained by cleansing breath these two complete breath cleansing breath have been introduced by us for public during pandemic rhythmic breathing is a common breathing everybody must do three times daily five minutes only five minutes breath is life the second and superven asana we talked about rhythmic yoging breathing we talked about and and forgiveness sadhana you forgive we are all children of god we all make mistake we are in the process of evolution we can never forgive forgiveness is attributed to the strong but if you practice forgiveness sadhana you become weak to strong and maintain your strength plantar phase meditation is a main meditation all of the person during meditation we have our thinking and feeling and all these things can be eliminated by meditation like you sweat is eliminated by breathing sweat is eliminated by Uh, exhale by breathing but eliminated and washed out by taking bath so you need to take spiritual bath meditation so when your aura is clean you can see things as they are your perceptions are very clear if your aura is clear you don't see and if aura is very dirty you cannot even see so regular practice of meditation is very important maybe 10 minutes 15 minutes we have this meditation 15 60 minutes available in the app if you want the aid to come with greater force into your house you have to open the window other it not come so open your heart that's a window open your crown it's a gate entrance so this is the technique of connecting to the higher center so when your aura is big subtler and denser like a balloon is blown up the problem is reduced problem gets diluted when aura becomes small small problems become very 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 predominant so aura being maintained in big is a very important pranamaya kosha meeting important plantar piece meditation aura makes aura subtler bigger brighter and denser and ability to handle and manage things improved you have a small car big car both go okay on the normal road but when rough road comes the big car with big engine big tires go if your aura is big you can handle stress you can handle difficult conditions so when we come to yoga each chapter of yoga bhagavad gita is yoga your yoga is bhagavata yoga each technique can make you connect to intuitional pain it's a brahma vidya it's a upanishad it is yoga shastra each chapter is that so all upanishad start with shanti mantra so we must utilize shanti mantra peace is the need so e equal to mc square of albert einstein comes into picture here you know you energy and matter are convertible and connected through the speed of velocity or of speed of sound or speed of light purification subtle energy body having higher vibration frequency subtler and finer which is possible by purification and by meditation also the energy body should be denser and bigger have strong energy body you can bring a change now come to after breathing is a gap after gap is a word the word in the beginning was a word word was this god word was god or word of the word was with god is both quoted in bible as well as in rigveda and many many uh, upanishads okay then the word of ishwar is om kam pratanjali yoga sutras so om is a very important mantra a vibration what is the importance of om is this very simple there are many things of om it purifies because it raises the vibration level it strengthens because higher vibration is higher power power is proper energy is proportional to vibration and you tune up to higher vibration and you can take you to higher planes like intuitional plane 
So, end of the mantra you can use Om, Amin or any other word which is suitable or Amen. So, here very simple mantra which can lift you up is Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya. No, not anybody get into illness, everybody be happy. Sarve Badrani Pashyansu, very important thing. If you go to intuitional plane, you can see goodness in everyone. Badrani, auspicious, Pashyansu, you see it. How do you see good in everybody? You have to lift into higher emotional to higher intuitional plane. Then you see experience oneness, you forgive, you see good, you visualize good, you bless good. So, may never anybody mark as Dukkha Bhagavad. Nobody have any portion of Dukkha in them. Om Shanti Shanti. Shanti in the physical, etheric planes, emotional, mental planes. Higher planes, Shanti is already there. So, we come to other mantras, Sarve Sam Shastir Bhavatu, Shantir Bhavatu, Purnam Bhavatu, Mangalam Bhavatu. We have the God and you are one and the same. He is complete, you are complete, you are complete part of Him. You feel separation because you experience individuality, not oneness. And most important of the mantra to empower, strengthen is Bur Bhuva Swa. Bur is physical, Bhuva is emotional, Swa is mental pain at one level, and Savitur is the solar god. We experience, see the Bargas and power. We, his splendor, Varenyam, Savitur Varenyam, his Bargas, his power. We, Devas, his, his Dimahi, we meditate upon it. We may our mind be illumined. Dio mind, even prachodayat with this. Similar is one of the most powerful mantra of managing yang and in aspect ida and pingla. Yang is pingla, yin is ida, ra is surya nadi, ma is chandra nadi. It is yang and yin. You can balance by this mantra very fast. Om namo ram ram. You need to chant maybe 10, 12 times. Lakshmi Gayatri, you have to balance the spiritual and material aspects of life. You are a spirit on the physical plane, you have a physical body, you are supposed to manifest something for the benefit of the earth, we have come for a purpose. So, we must not just only connect it up, but bring what is there here, heaven and earth. How you do it? By rooting up and rooting down. Coming from the mantras the same way, Badrani Pashyans, Badrani means auspiciousness. Good. Pashyant means you see. The same thing you see, it comes up. And it comes in front of Puram Madam, Puram Madam, all this comes out in terms of affirmations, affirmations, those who don't believe in mantras, you do affirmation. I am the soul which is eternal in the body and using the body which is transient but precious for the purpose of the divine. So, balance material and spiritual aspects of life, you are that soul coming to incarnated soul and bodies and for a purpose. You can affirm this so that you can lift up. And every day, in every way, I am becoming better, better, better in all aspects of my life. We can become better by practice of the techniques. Last one minute, I will live a life of moderation, self-discipline and spirituality. And I am constantly radiating goodness, badrani, pashyantu. So the mantras can be translated into affirmations. Negative thoughts, feelings create negative condition. Positive affirmation create positive condition. You can come out of situations. But integrated approach, breathing. Now you lastly practice in the group. Your disaligned condition can be aligned when you come into the group. That is Sangam Sharanam Gachami. So, with whom you associate, you will be known by that. You are a zero or a number or a, or a uh, shape depends on with whom you are. So, Sangam Sharanam Gachami. So, with meditations, the Washington DC meditation by Mahesh Yogi reduced uh, crime rate by 23.3%. It is documented research. We have one such uh, activity done in Bangalore with 1400 people in 2017 and the crime rate was reduced. We have a press report on that. So, group meditation, 10 to 15 days after this meditation, there was uh, no major crime. It is documented. Similarly, we would like to have such a meditation for two months with 2000 people or more in 2024 in Buddha Padrasambha Yoga Ashram. The plan is going on. You can be part of it. You can get into our live sessions, Facebook live, three times, 7.15, 1 p.m., 6.30 p.m. We practice breathing and all this forgiveness and all these things. You can synergize, group helps, even we are away, we are together, help developing faith, you do service automatically, you come into peace. It's in giving in peace, you receive peace. And lead to inner peace. And you can join for divine healing session at 10 a.m., you register at Yoga Pranada Healers Group on Facebook. We have to register, we will approve, you can join in. This is going on every day, free. All these things are free 
and we have Wi-Fi Visadhana app in multiple languages. You can download. All the techniques are there. If you want healing, you can connect to us. We can teach healing. Everybody must learn Yoga Pranayama level three to handle psychological condition, to help physical condition. We have a presence in the YouTube, and uh, you have presence in the thing. You can Google Wi-Fi research. You get all our research papers. And we thank Sunita Singh, Wi-Fi certified healer and trainer, who has uh, helped in uh, this. And Veer Bharadwaj Singh and. Uh, and the conveners and national conveners, Professor Jagdish Rai and Professor Narendra Kumar, and uh, presently being handled by the chair is there, um, Professor Ashok and uh, Professor Ekajan. We thank you for this opportunity. We can connect you to will help. Uh, thank you for this opportunity. Uh, thank, thank you for giving me a little more time. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for very nice, nice and limited uh, speech. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now I'm handing over this thing to uh, Professor Jagdish Rai. Thank you all very much. Okay, thank you very much. Thank so you. Much.